Hello and welcome back to Matt Hayes Tottenham blog and to this week's team news video for the North London Derby on Sunday. So in the last hour or so Tottenham have released their official team news and I'm going to go through uh, what they've said in a minute but before I get started if you are new to the channel and if you want more videos like this plus match previews reviews and interactive live streams please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and click that notification bell so you get notified whenever I, I upload or go live. So uh, a bit of bad news I suppose with this uh, the team news video the team news announcement from Tottenham. And the main one, the one we were all waiting for, was Tongi and Dambele, and the club have confirmed he will miss the game on Sunday against Arsenal, which is, it's a massive blow because we saw against Newcastle just how much we missed him. And I know, sure, there's a tiny bit of a silver lining that do, it does allow us to play that 4-2-3-1, but, you know, uh, obviously in Dambele, his absence wasn't the only thing that uh, ruined that game against Newcastle, but we definitely missed him in the middle of the park. I think playing against uh, Arsenal with, at times, the power that they do have in midfield with the likes of Granit Xhaka and Lucas Torreira, I think we could really miss Ndamble this Sunday and it's it's a, it's a massive low before this game even starts. Um, now the other one we were waiting for was news on right-back and that is Kyle Walker-Peters who will also miss this game. He picked up a hamstring strain in that game against Newcastle. He was, of course, taken off late on um, and he, he won't be available for the game, which, again, is another massive blow. So it, you would imagine with Foyth, who is still out with that ankle injury, and Aurier, who hasn't really been mentioned in this um, the, the team news announcement, but he just doesn't seem to be in and around the team. He doesn't seem to be in Pochettino's plans at the moment. So you would imagine we could see Musa Suzoko go back onto the right-hand side. Um, now, what that kind of means for midfield as well is the only kind of recognised first-team midfielder who's played football this season, who's in there, is Harry Winks. And you wonder who else is going to go in there. So I think the the, the two absentees that we do have are possibly the worst combination that we could have had because we now have no one to go on the right except one of our two midfielders who has to pull out there. And then you wonder, is it going to be Eric Dyer playing in the middle of the park? He's being assessed um, after his uh, hip injury was irritated again. So he mightn't even be available. And just at the moment, it's looking like we could be very, very weak in that midfield, which is probably a really, really important part of our team playing in, in a North London derby away from home. So we're looking really, really weak already. Now, Ryan Sessegnon is another player who uh, will miss the game. He's continuing his on-field rehabilitation after that hamstring injury he picked up while he was still a Fulham player. And obviously it's coming back to haunt us now that he's, this is what, three games into the season, four games into the season, and he still isn't available for selection. Um, but yeah, really, really bad news on the injury front. And it's just getting annoying at this stage that, you know, we're at the start of the season and still injuries are a massive, massive concern for us. We had more injuries than any other team in the English league last season and already starting out this year. Going into this game, we have five players out injured and it's it's not good at all. Now, one player who was not mentioned in this uh, team news update was Deli Ali. Of course, Ali has missed the three games of the season so far with the hamstring injury that he picked up, um, I think it was in pre-season. Um, but he hasn't been mentioned in this. He failed a late fitness test to play in that game against Newcastle. So you'd imagine, because there has been nothing about him, that he is fit for the game on Sunday, which is a massive boost. Um, we've certainly missed him, but it, it kind of feels at the moment like our midfield um, selections are overly attacking because we do have Eriksen, uh, Ali, La Celso, Lucas, Son, Lamella. Um, so you'd wonder, is, is one of them going to drop back into a deeper position or will it be a three at the back with, instead of wing backs playing kind of advanced midfielders? Um, there's just so many different things that it could be, but no matter what it is, we absolutely 100% need to see Jan Vertonghen and Christian Eriksen back in this team. And if Mauricio Pochettino doesn't pick them, doesn't pick them, there's going to be a lot of questions asked. And there's going to be a lot more frustration than there was after that game against Newcastle. Um, unless, of course, we get a result, you can justify it then. But he absolutely 100% needs to pick Jan Vertonghen and Christian Eriksen for this game now more than ever. Because, as I said, we could be forced to play a three at the back. Or we could need Eriksen or Ali or maybe even La Celso if he is okay to start to drop into a deeper role. And that's another thing uh, Pochettino has said. La Celso isn't at the level that he would want him to be at in order to get into this first team. But now with all these injuries in the middle of the park, La Celso could be forced to, to play the game even though he's not entirely ready yet. So it's already shaping up to be a really, really tough game on Sunday. But as I've said in my last few videos, when we do show up, when we do play well, we are capable of beating any team any team in the world and this Arsenal team they're not at the best right now but we know they always show up in in a derby at the Emirates that we always struggle uh, there which is fair enough because it's the same for them when they come to when they come to Tottenham but yeah it's looking to be a really really tough day but look we have to stay optimistic um there are still some really really good players that we do have available for selection although we're missing some of our our most key players especially three right backs missing um it, it could be a tough day but 
I have to say optimistic. Now just to quickly give you the latest on the Arsenal team news at the moment. Um, Rob Holding, he has a, an injury in his left knee. They, he's continuing on-field rehabilitation and he played 90 minutes for Arsenal um, on last Friday in the under-23s. So he could be available to return. Um, Emile Smith-Rowe has a groin injury. He played 80 minutes in that game as well. He also played 90 minutes on Tuesday night. So he's more than likely available for selection. Um, now a few players who won't be playing Hector Bellerin another player with a knee injury is continuing on-field re- rehabilitation and he's aiming to participate in full training in September so he won't be available for the game Kieran Tierney of course our new left back signing has a groin injury he's receiving treatment and further assessments and again won't be back until September and Dinos Mavrapanos has, also has a groin injury um, and he's the same as Tierney receiving treatment and assessments he won't be back till September so they're not exactly missing really strong first team players, but it is a blow. They are missing probably two of their best fullbacks. Um, we know they play Sead Kalazanac on the left, who's a good player, but not the kind of the safest options for them option. And in the right back, Ainsley Maitland Niles, who was a centre midfielder playing in right back, could be a place that we could target with the pace of someone like Hoyman Son or Lucas Mora. Um Mesut Ozil is available for selection. I don't know if he will be selected. Um Unai Emery doesn't seem to um doesn't seem to uh, like picking Ozil in the team for some reason, especially in these bigger games. But um, yes, uh, just a few players missing for Arsenal for this one. So that is all I have time for in this video today. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want more content like this, hit the subscribe button down below and press that notification bell. Thanks for watching.